Hello everyone, just wanted to welcome you to our video for the trip to Israel and standing, I'm standing in front of Jerusalem on the Mount of Olives where Jesus looked over Jerusalem and prayed over it and wept over it and uh, it's impressive as you look at it today but imagine that 2,000 years ago the city that Jesus Christ came to walk in, minister to, in a city that overwhelmingly missed their opportunity. So I want to encourage you not to miss the opportunities God's giving you. You know, none of us know how long we're going to live. And, uh, you know, the ultimate statistic is 100% of people die. And so one of these days has your name on it. And what will happen to you after you die? The Bible says it's appointed for a man to die once, and after this, the judgment. And so on judgment day, will we be innocent or guilty? Have you broken God's law? Have you lied? Have you stolen? Have you committed adultery or just lusted for a woman? Have you hated anyone? Committed a murder in your heart? Have you ever disobeyed your parents or worshipped anything other than God? Um, the Lord is God and He demands our worship and we've all broken His law. We haven't loved Him with all of our hearts, souls, minds and strength. And so, and we haven't loved our neighbor as ourselves, as we ought to. So we all stand before God under the law guilty. And that's why God became a man 2,000 years ago, so that he could fulfill the law himself as the perfect man, the man God, Jesus Christ is God in the flesh. And he lived the perfect life that we should have lived, but he died the death that we should have died. We deserve to die on the cross. And and bear the wrath of God. But Jesus drank the cup of God's wrath for us. He took our sins upon him and he went to the cross, despising the shame, looking forward to the joy set before him. So I hope you enjoy these videos and I just want to encourage you as you're watching, just realize God loves you enough to send his only son to be the sacrifice for you. And this is your opportunity to receive him as your Lord and Savior if you haven't already. If you have, be encouraged, be strengthened in your faith, and continue to follow Jesus and share the good news with others because the opportunity is not for very long. Life is just a vapor. And after that, we'll spend eternity in either heaven or hell. What will be your destiny?